Freaking at the Freakers Ball, y'all, right here live on RealLibertyBD.com on this Friday night, July 17, 2020. How the hell y'all doing out there? This is Grimner. Moose Girl will be along in a while. She's watching the uh, Billy Strings live feed uh, there on the interwebs. Uh, it's, a, it's a paid event that she's uh, attending to. So she'll be along when, she, when that's finished. You can bet on it. You can count on it. Yeah, it's a moose gal, the other half of this show. So uh, we'll be looking forward to her finishing up over there where where she's at right now. And uh, we'll, get, we'll get on to that when we get on to that. All right. So uh, anyway, hi and howdy to all the folks out there listening in, either here, right here on reallibertymedia.com or uh, prob maybe, possibly, over there on vaughn.live slash Media. If you're listening on the audio stream, howdy audio streamers, listeners, uh, which could be on real, uh, rlmradio.xyz. Uh, we also have the feed going directly to realliberty.org and tunein.com, as well as other places. But uh, those are the primary ones at this point in time. So wherever you are, if you're tuned in here, hey! <laughs> and if you're not over here in the chat on reallibertymedia.com, which you can also get on rlmradio.xyz or directly through your IRC client if you have one installed. It's on freenode, irc.freenode.net, and it's pound pound or Real Liberty Media. And you can come on here and talk to all the folks. We got always got a great group of folks here tonight, or not tonight, but always got a great group of folks here, and especially tonight. Uh, yeah, we got the Moose Girl here. She's chatting it up, talking about stuff. Miss Van Meter with us as a well, um, SLC, Mike, and I see I seen Sock Puppet in there. Chloe, uh, I, I, who else we got over here checking us out? I, um, uh, I think uh, Rome's uh, Matt, Matt WJ, two thousand two, uh, Cowboy Tech, uh, Kate, you out there? You awake? Woof woof woof. Hey there, doggies. Um, Hansel may even be tuned in. I, I see Jay Dredd listed here, and uh, he he wants me to make sure that you know, just so you know. Uh, if you see this in the store or wherever you may see it, Soylent Green is people! Oh, uh, okay. I got that covered. Um, <laughs> anyway, we got a whole group of folks over here. Cowboy Tech, got to mention you. I think I did. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, did I mentioned Donna. Yeah. Da, 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 da. All right, all kinds of people, though. There's a, lot, there's a big, big, long list of folks over here in the chat, so come on over and say hi, say howdy, how y'all doing over there. And uh, so how's things going out there in Corona land, Corona world, the the new Corona city? I guess that's like New Jack City. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's some craziness going on, craziness. We'll get to all that later. There's so much craziness surrounding this whole Corona nonsense, crap, Corona balona. Uh, it's it's not even funny. And people here in the chat, we have several people on on differing opinions uh, on the whole Corona stuff. And I I have no problem. I have no problem with people having differing opinions. But don't get don't get testy over it. I mean, you think, uh, but, 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 you know, it, it's like that too out there in the real world, out there in the physical outside of my house world, where if certain people see, see you not wearing a mask, they get all bent out of shape and upset, but they got their mask on. So what do they care if I got mine on? Or you got people not wearing a mask and they see people with masks and they point and laugh at them and say, you stupid sheeple or what, whatever, uh, you know, <laughs> that's all good and fine out there in the outside world. But right here in the chat on, on the, in the uh, cyber world, I don't know whatever you want to call it, uh, no reason, no reason, no reason to get upset with others for saying you shouldn't wear a mask or you should wear a mask. It's, I should do whatever the hell I want. That's what I should do, and that's what I am going to do. <laughs> oh, man, it's so funny. Anyway, I've been having problems with the Internet last week. I, I, I will, Mike, I will. Uh, and and um, <laughs> I've had a problem with the Internet over the last, well, 
Saturday, last Saturday through, I don't know, Thursday or something, uh, Wednesday maybe it was, uh, but uh, they seem to have it straightened out, and I'm hoping everything is good uh, now. So, um, yeah, this is my cyber living room, Rob. Hey, it's Rob Works there. Uh, <laughs> yes, it does work both ways, Chloe. Uh, you know, and, and some people like that. Uh, a, a, anyway, <laughs> so I, I just, you know, whatever. Um, but I, I think we're going to start off with a with a uh, set of songs here to get everybody kicked up and going, going down the right, uh, going down an interesting path. Uh, now, uh, Moose Girl, are you tuned in? Are you listening? How, how are you responding to me? All right. I don't know. She, 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 Billy may be done. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, forced masculination. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right. She's listening to both. Sweet. All right. Well, this first song goes out to, well, so many people. I can't even tell you all the names. But it just does. Um, <laughs> Little band called Green Day. Uh, if you don't know the words, the lyrics will be on the screen. And two, three. <laughs> All right, thanks, Leo. There's a great tribute to Charlie Daniels there, uh, covering "The Devil Went Down to Georgia." And, uh, yeah, so he, uh, he made that little, uh, video there, put it out today. Yeah, very good stuff. Uh, before that, Blue Oyster Cult, uh, was Don't Fear the Reaper, and we kicked it off with Green Day and American Idiot. Oh, man, what a great song that, uh, that's just so fitting for the world today. Uh, I tell you, that's, uh, quite something. All right, so, uh, Moose Girl is wrapped up with the, uh, BMFS concert, and she'll be calling in, uh, any moment now. So uh, we look forward to that. Um, <laughs> I tell you, man. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. You know, they're talking about B.B. King here in the chat. Here's the thing about B.B. Yeah, he had a unique sound. He had a very unique sound. And you, you could always know when, when the guitar playing was B.B. Uh, you know, he, mm -hmm. he, 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 you know, you may not consider him one of the greatest guitarists of all times, but uh he was he was he was very unique in his style and his sound uh so uh I love baby I love baby yeah I did too um uh, I saw him many times or not many times a few times live and he is really he was really entertaining and he really was passionate and um he might not have been the best guitarist blues guitarist but he wasn't he was okay he had like his unique sound i guess yeah absolutely yeah he, he, you know he, you he know i think sound. a lot what i said yeah he definitely absolutely had his his own sound i think they all do though oh probably. right right sock and i think a lot of guitarists start out when they pick up a guitar they start out playing a blues rift correct me if i'm wrong there but right well you know um uh, Muddy Waters, he was always one of my favorites, uh, mm -hmm. and John Lee Hooker, um, and Day oh, Two. Yeah. Hooker, know, oh yeah, Hooker, oh yeah. You know, made, made, none of them were really great guitarists, but they wrote a lot of great songs, and um, mm -hmm. and and a, a lot of their songs shaped rock and roll and the blues today. So, uh, I, I mean, you know, you can say however you want, uh, but, right? Uh, uh, they're, but for sure, we know if it weren't for the blues, there would be no rock and roll. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, so many rock bands covered blues songs. Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't realize that, but um, if it, it's true. Rock and roll originated from the blues. Sure. So if yeah. you don't know that, do your research and... Oh, I, I think anyway. <laughs> I think Sock's pretty familiar with that. That. Uh, that oh yeah, big yeah, time. That, that little yeah. <laughs> and blues, like blues, is like jazz. There's so many different styles, and even bluegrass. In any genre, you have different styles within that genre. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Like rock and roll, that's like a blanket term for so many different styles of music. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, you know, and there's a lot of crossover, too. 
between genres now. Or it's always been that way, but yeah, you know, or crossover blues and country, or bluegrass and country. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, um, but music is incredible. Oh yeah, buddy guy, Kate. Oh yeah, oh, can't yeah. forget him. Uh, yeah, you, you can't not include Buddy in one of the greatest guitarists ever. So, <laughs> there's, there's well, a... Sock, talk, sock brought up Albert Collins. Oh, yeah, Albert Collins, awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, Albert Collins. And I think Gary Clark, Clark Jr. I mean, we're talking, he's a younger and he's, you know, up and coming, but well, or he's pretty much made the big time now. Here, here, here's the thing about Gary. I, I love Gary. He, he, yeah, he, he's awesome. But uh, I, I wish he would he would stay away from the... Well, stay, stick, stick, stick more with uh, the, uh, uh, the the strict blues or or right because he kind of blends genres. Yeah, he, he goes into a lot of stuff that a lot like, of rock, uh, and, you know, um, which is fine. You know, everyone's unique. You know. Yeah, well, um, I, I think Joe is in the top five of blues guitarists. I would say um, Joe uh, at least up there. at least in the top five of living blues guitarists. Right, um. <laughs> maybe not dead one, maybe not overall, but yeah. Joey B is freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. He's got it. Like even, I mean, too bad we lost Stevie Ray Vaughan. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Too I bad mean, we lost all of those. That all was these, a huge loss. That you know, was so, a huge uh, loss. So many of these guys we're talking about. So it's way too bad we lost them. But uh, right, yeah, hey, so many. Know, but. You know, I mean, especially the ones that were younger, you know. You understand when they die of old age. But when they die suddenly and not when they should have, then it's, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, John Lee Hooker, uh, he was he was ready to go. I mean, I, yeah. saw, I saw him shortly, very shortly before he died. And, you know, he, they helped him out to the stage and they set him in his chair and they put his guitar in his hand, and he just kind of sat there, da da da, da at the beginning. Yep. But as he got into it, he, he started to pick up, you know, his up, his, yep. his energy, and, and you, you could tell. But I mean, it was it was awesome to see him. Uh, well, know. that's because they love it. it. It's like life to them. It's like, you know what I mean? Like you said, at first he was kind of not really, but once he started playing, it well, like put life into that. I mean, it puts life into you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I have all I have all of Robert Johnson's uh, music, and I oh, do I love and, Robert and, and, and so I do much. listen to it. Uh, uh, but see, the thing about him is he he signed the deal. He went down to the crossroads. He did. He yeah. made a deal yeah. to devil. <laughs> he did. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I've been having a lot of fun with my little cigar box thing I got. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's weird. It's different, but uh, I can just sit there and say it's so small. You know, I can hold it while I'm like kicked back on the sofa. And, right. Uh, yeah. And so I could, I could like be watching a movie or whatever. And so just, it's not this huge, like enormous. Yeah. No, it, it, thing. It, it, yeah. It's, it's short and it's small, and I could sit there uh -huh. and, and 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 plunk on it and, and slide. <laughs> you know, it's a it's a fretless thing. There's no frets. You can't really you know do any right. of that 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 stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to play. And I just well, good. I no, just that's good. Good for you. Sit there and goof around with it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I don't really know how to play anything, but, uh, but you I, know I have, what? I, have fun. Bit, I heard I, I heard something though, Graham, the other day. I was watching some documentary or something, and some musician was talking, or some person. I can't, even, you know what I mean? It was like it's in my memory, but they said that they were told the best way to learn how to play an instrument is to just pick it up and start pluck, like especially a guitar, just pick it up, start plucking away. Like yeah. I heard a musician say. That's how they learn how to play a guitar. They just <laughs> yeah, pick yeah. it up and start playing. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I, mean? I mean, messing around, not like playing it like a master right away. Right. But they just start, picked it up, learned their style, you know what I mean? And that's yeah. how they learn how to play guitar. They taught themselves. Uh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Chloe, Chloe asked him if I'm playing a guitar. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a three-string fretless cigar box guitar. Yeah, three-string. Three-string. Small one. Uh, but it's great. It's a fun time, and it's got a glass came with a glass slide, and uh, so yeah, I just sit there and plunk on it, and sliding that thing up and down. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but it's fun, right? It was a big yeah, uh, joy, and yeah, you enjoy it. And what the hell? Who cares? Yeah, it's great. It, it, it was like twenty. You're there by yourself, anyway. It's not like anyone can hear you. And, and you can you can get one yourself for like twenty bucks on on Amazon. Oh, twenty bucks. Yeah, oh. yeah. You know, it's, it's got a pickup uh, in there, a PZO uh, pickup, so I, I, you can plug it into an amp if, if if that's your desire. Most of the time, I don't, but I, I, buy, I got I got this little this little high distortion amp <laughs> to, to plug it into, battery powered thing. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's cool. No, yeah, it's great. It's I mean, even my son Zach, I you know they had two, one guitar and one bass. Right. And they had that little amp. He took it with them. Good. He's like, this stuff's mine. I'm gonna, you know what I mean. I might as well mess around with it, or, you know, or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, Don. That's I a mean, great place. I mean, why just for... let it sit there and collect dust? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You had a little bit of fun there. In case anybody didn't see it. Well, you know, right. I mean, like Donna said, twenty bucks is good for a little bit of happiness. Hell yeah, yeah it is. it's a great time. It's a great time. <laughs> yeah, it is. There I mean, you, just, you know, anybody, anybody can do it. You know, it's a uh... right. Oh, look! Um, it, it might want it's it's thirty dollars now. See these things they they change price all the time. Right? Um, yeah, you gotta just uh, watch it or whatever. Well, whatever. Uh, but it, but it, but it was uh, twenty dollars when I got it, and uh, twenty one maybe, but whatever. It's thirty dollars now. So uh, yeah, there you go. Pick one up. Have a good old time. Slide to slide that thing around. <laughs> the BBG. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blues box guitar. <laughs> blues, blues box guitar. So, uh, Speaking of music, though, Graham, uh-huh. unless you had something you wanted to do right away. No, no, go ahead. All right, I'll, I'll just do this one then. Since we're on the subject of music, let me find this goddamn link. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'll look it up. Harmonicas are easy, he says. Yeah, harmonicas are good. I mean, <laughs> but you got them. You got, oh, they're, they're, I got them, Grim here. Right. So harmonicas are cool because... You can learn it on your own, pretty much, and then, but then you're gonna learn like because different harmonicas are in different keys or tones. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a C and a G here. Okay, you gotta make sure you're. A C and an A, my G got damaged. It was in my back pocket. That sucks. It was in my back pocket. I like one this time. one, the one you were just playing though. Which one's that one? That's a C. I like that song. Yeah, it's, it's a cheapo. It's a cheapo. Yeah. It was like five bucks or something, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a German, okay. German, German made. Oh, cool! <laughs> What's the brand name on it? You see that? Kasha. How do you C- spell that? C A S C H A. C A S C H A. Hmm, weird. Okay. No, it's cool. Um, man. comes with a okay, case so- and a little, little, uh, you know, rag, and it came with a, some kind of little, I don't know, other stuff. Okay. Let's see if I can find it in my things here. All right. So, the tritone. Tritone. Have you ever heard of that, Grim? Tritone. I, I, could mean anything. The tritone. Maybe Slack Puppet has. The... I, I had not heard about this thing, which surprised me. And I'm like, okay, new to me, cool, you know, um, good to get new information. I actually learned about this from Clyde Lewis on one of his Facebook feeds uh, this week. Anyway, apparently, it's it it says this is called this is from Ubercord.com. The tritone, everything you need to know. Tritone is the most famous. It's probably the most famous interval of them all. People have all kinds of associations with this sound. Mostly on account of its nickname, yeah. the Devil's Interval. Strangely enough, it appears a lot in jazz music. Musicians and historians alike reference various names for the tritone. Nicknames are the Devil's Interval, the Chord of Evil, the Diabolus in Musica. Oh, like right, the right. The Devil right. in Music. Yeah. Tritonus, or technical names are Tritonus, the Flatted Fifth, the Augmented Fourth. The diminished fifth, the semi diapente, or the semi tritonus. What is the tritone? The tritone is an interval meaning two pitches sounding at the same time. 
so why does it include the prefix try, meaning three, of something when it consists of only two pitches? The try actually refers to the three whole steps in between the two notes. As a result, these, these, uh, this places the tritone between the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth, making a diminished fifth with a flat or an augmented fourth with a sharp. Okay, I'm not a music major, but I kind of get what they're saying here. Okay. All right, all right. Intervals sound different depending on the distance between the two pitches. The reason for this is because each tith, pitch <laughs> consists of itself of many harmonics, higher notes that resonate alongside the main pitch. You'll perhaps be able to best recognize this with ch church bells where these notes are very easy to distinguish. Yeah. Certain intervals have more harmonics in common than others. The more they have in common, the softer they sound. There are many words that describe the sounds produced by an interval. Dissonant, consonant, disturbing, eerie, and so on. I prefer the, to give them a degree of hardness because it is rather neutral. It is a rather neutral and somewhat a somewhat objective term. Sure. It's, there's five characteristics of a tritone. It's one of the hardest sounding intervals we have. It consists of two notes six half steps away from each other. It lies right between the last hard sounding intervals, the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth. It divides the octave into two halves. It can be split up in three whole steps and into two minor thirds. Anyway, it goes on, but I'll get to this point now. They bring up 25 songs featuring the tritone, the devil's interval. Okay. Here we go. This is also from Ubercore, 25 songs with the tritone. Okay. The first one is South Park theme song. And these are different genres, okay? They put it in the, this is the theme park genre, okay? They're just showing you different areas in life that this has been used, okay? All right. So this is theme songs. South Park, The Simpsons, and The Munsters. Okay. The Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone, that's Pink, got like two notes. The Pink Panther theme song. Okay, heavy metal songs now. Ready? Mm hmm Marilyn Manson's The Beautiful People. Yeah. Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath. Symptom of the Universe by Black Sabbath. Metallica's Enter Sandman. Metallica's The Call of Cthulhu. Cygnus X1 by Rush. XYZ's Rush. King Crimson's Red, Painkiller by Judas Priest, DOA by Blood Rock, nice. Classic Rock, Jimi Hendrix Purple Haze, My God by Jethro Tull, Juice Box by The Strokes. This is classical music, Dance Macabre, Beethoven's Opera, Palladio, um, Maria, okay, now we're going to musicals. Maria from West Side Story, um, Jazz and Bolson, Bolson Nova, Girl from Infinita. Anyway, there you go. Um, I had never heard of this thing before, and I thought that was kind of interesting. So maybe this, in some of this music that they get people with, like the Illuminati and stuff, they're probably using this technique. Right. In some way to get you, in some way to control you, in some way. I don't know how to, what, what they would really use this for. And do you think that, like, Black Sabbath did this purposely, like, purposely use this chord in their songs? Like, it, it's not unlikely. To make them, like, controversial or something. Or, you know what I mean? To, like, push well, the no, it, it's be, for the effect it has on people, not to make them controversial. But, right. Uh, uh, like you know, the sound that it makes. Right, yeah. So, you know. Right, uh, to it, have it, yeah. Yeah, you know, that. Just, just listening to that, that list of songs that you uh, that, that you oh. mentioned there. Yeah, that's the same link. Uh, yeah, the, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now. Uh, I'm so, aware of that. <laughs> um, uh, th those songs are, are you know, they, they get into your head. So, uh, uh, and, and see, you know, isn't it interesting back like when Tipper Gore, when Al Gore was in, like, the vice president and Tipper Gore got all over these bands? Uh, she's a nutcase, you know. Wait, I, I, but remember that? But they were trying to say that it can, it makes people 
become serial killers and shit. Well, of course the music, not. music, you it, know, it, it but no, not. we all know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, remember that, though, when they had to put those oh, warning ab- labels ab- on the albums? Ab- absolutely, like, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can't have children. These, It's like, lady, people were buying Beatles music, you know, and, and, and all the adults thought it was all controversial. Elvis Presley. All the adults thought he was controversial because right, he right. swinged his hips and he did sexual movements. Oh yeah. my God! You so know yeah, what I mean? Don, Donna points out in the chat there: music is pretty predictable and follows a certain pattern, using certain tension chords, which resolves itself to a number of modes and such. Um, right. It's all mathematics, and if you really want to look at it, uh, it, yep. it in the right way. Um, well, I, then again, most things are, but. Um. <laughs> and that's why I suck at playing the instrument because I'm not really. I'm like the well, right yeah. thing, or whichever one's the non-math brain, that's me. You that's know okay. I mean? I'm you one of the creative brain. You don't, you don't need to be good at math to play great music. No, you so, don't. Uh, so, right, uh, true, yeah. <laughs> but it does come down to that. When it comes to reading music. Yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, like some people can just play by ear. Sure. I've always been jealous of them kind of people. That they yeah. can just pick it up an instrument or sit down at a piano and just start playing it. It's like, really? Cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Coltrane, Seven Circles of Hell? Is that is that, that right, Donna? Okay, Coltrane. John Coltrane, she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, see, Donna, you have a different perspective because you're a musician. Same with Sock Puppet. Same with all you guys, anyone out there that is a musician. <laughs> you have a different way of looking at it than I do because I'm just a dance. I mean, I'm a singer and a dancer. I'm not a musician. I can't read music. Yeah. I tried to start playing piano when I was a kid, but I could never... So it never stuck, you know what so, I mean. So, so you don't consider a singer a musician? They are in a way, but a musician to me is someone that can play an instrument. Your voice is your instrument. Well, right, true. I guess if you put if if you determine that a voice is your instrument, then yes, okay, I guess I am a musician then. All right, because I am a singer. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Good point. Crap. Yeah. Darth Yoda, who the hell is that? Uh, who knows? Somebody popped in. He never said anything, <laughs> and he left. Okay, whatever. Anyway, yeah. Um, I just I, music to me is magic. It's it it. Certain songs will bring me back to a certain time in my life, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. So, it's very powerful, and it is connected to a gram. Like your, you know, your show, your new show. It's all connected. Right. Music is huge in all of this. Absolutely, absolutely. All, 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 all of the entertainment, you know, stuff is, of course. Right, right. Um, you know. Um, <sighs> yeah. And I think the reason I love acoustic music is because you don't, you, it doesn't need to be plugged in. You don't need electricity. Right. You can pick up an acoustic guitar and start playing a song. You pick up a harmonica and start playing a song. You know what I'm saying? You can pick up a saxophone, start playing a song, you know, if you know how to play it, right? I mean, even if you don't know how to play, you can make notes. It might not sound good, <laughs> but it's still a song, yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is interesting. This uh, Donna just posted a link there. John Coltrane draws a picture illustrating the mathematics of music. Um, and it's got this very interesting diagram uh, going through the numbers, one through five there. Uh, that was a was a pentagram thing in the middle, and then the various notes going around the edges. Um, it says a physicist and saxophonist Stephen Alexander has argued in his many public lectures and his book The Jazz of Physics that Albert Einstein and John Coltrane had quite a lot in common. Uh, Alexander, in particular, draws our attention to the so-called Coltrane Circle, which resembles what any musician will recognize as the circle of fifths. Uh, but incorporates Coltrane's own innovations. Coltrane gave the drawing to the saxophonist and professor, Yusuf Latif, in 1967, who included it in his seminal text, uh, The Repository of Scales and Melodic Patterns, where Latif writes, or as he writes, his autobiography sees Coltrane's music as a spiritual journey that embraced the concerns of a rich tradition of auto psychic music, Alexander sees the same geometric pr- geometric principle that motivated Einstein's quantum theory. Uh, cannot disagree with any of that. 
uh, yeah, very interesting. I'll, I'll read that more later. I'll put the I'll put the link into the blog uh, tomorrow, so uh, we we have that to, to reference back to. Um, it's cool. Thank you for that link, Donna. That's really cool. Thank you for yeah. looking that up. That's awesome. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, cool. So. Right, composing would be hard because you have to know, well, songwriting is different than composing. The lyric writing is different than putting word or music to the lyrics. Like, you can write lyrics, but then you have to... Unless you can compose it yourself, you have to have someone else do that for you. Yeah. You know see, see uh, Rome says it's like reading C programming if you don't know what you're looking at. However, C programming, you can follow it if you're logical at all. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, English-based commands in, in, in C programming in most languages. Um, right. Uh, but but uh, you can follow, you know, if this... If whatever, do this, or or else do this, or uh, do this while this condition exists. So you can see kind of, uh, even if you don't know what it's calling and uh, mm -hmm. things like that, you, you can still kind of follow the C programming. With music, you just see the, the notes on the thing, and it's like right, right. If you don't if you don't know what those mean, um, then you're kind of like looking at a foreign language or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like reading Chinese. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, and some people just have that, that kind of brain that works that way. Yeah, yeah. That they can see, you know what I'm saying? And it, for me to become a musician, I would have to work at it. Yeah. But for some people, it comes naturally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I'm like, basically. I don't have to work at dancing. That oh. comes naturally to me. But for me to play an instrument, I would have to work at it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't just be. Oh, like I'm going to teach myself how to play guitar. You know what I mean? Right? Like, yeah. You know, I, I, you I'm, know. I'm basically tone deaf, but uh... <laughs> I am too in a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that doesn't help, but um, yeah. It's um, all right. It's all right. Yeah, you know, everyone has their gifts, and you know, everyone's sure. gifted in certain areas, and not everyone's the same. So that's right. The way it is. I mean. Yeah. We all have our stuff. Yeah, whatever. As long, as long as you're having a good time, then you're doing the right thing. <laughs> Hard to have a good time these days, though, isn't it? Well, it is, but you can still do it. Well, you. I mean, I had a good time tonight watching go. my Billy Springsteen and people watching people having a good time. Yeah. And watching people all over the country, like, there was people that were in their pool watching it. There was people, you know, dancing with their kids, and they had lights flash, disco lights, and it was so cool to see everybody's like different setups. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. Like, I mean, if it weren't for that Zoom feed, just watching the concert itself, by, sitting here by myself would not be fun. <laughs> you know? No, you'd still enjoy it. It's Billy. Well, know. I would enjoy it still, but it's just, it adds something to it when you can see other people doing, you know what I mean? It's just weird, you know? Right, right. To you, you would probably not like that Zoom feed. Like, last night I was on camera more than I was on tonight because you can, like, stop you don't you can like make your screen black or whatever right which i did that tonight because i just didn't feel like being on it you know because every once in a while they'll like put you on the feature screen uh -huh. like you'll be you know what i mean it's like i don't feel like that tonight <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but some people get really into it they're dancing they're playing guitars and they're doing all you know it was like a blow up alien on there. <laughs> like, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I hope that's not like a trend. I hope they don't say, well, we can't have any more in-person concerts. Hey, you never know. You but, know, uh, I but, just, but, I, and I'm really concerned about venues closing. I mean, all over the country, there, it's, a, it's a real thing where these, they're, these bands can't perform. These venues can't have events, so they're really hurting. They have employees. The unemployment's going to run out. You know, there's a time limit on it. Yeah, yeah. And yep. most of these, they, I think I saw a really staggering statistic that said like 90% of music venues could close, shut down completely. Right. Forever, right. And so I guess there's an organization called Save Our Stages. Mm -hmm. 
I'll look it up right now. But anyway, um, you know, if they're if they are asking the public for help, help. Um, that means the federal government's not really paying them too much attention, okay? Right. Because it's an entertainment thing. It's not like a needed thing in their mind. Yeah. You know, in my mind it is. People right. need live music. People need to dance. People need to see these bands. These musicians need to be working. That's what they do for a living. Sure. You know, um, here, I'll look at it. Here it is right here. Um. But if you, and I think you can make, I'm not sure, I haven't done too much research, but the venues that are involved in this are listed, so I think you can make your money go to which venue you want it to go to. Oh, okay, okay? great, great. Which, that would be cool. If that, you know, and they, I know they have all the states listed there. Um, let's see, New Mexico, let me scroll down. Let's see, Wisconsin, I'll go to Wisconsin here. Yeah, we don't have a lot of venues here anyway. No, not New Mexico, but Wisconsin does. Texas does. Oh, yeah, Texas has tons. Okay, I, I don't see Wisconsin on this. Vermont, Virginia. Yeah, maybe you can oh, add. It wasn't loaded yet. It wasn't loaded up all the way yet. All right, maybe you can add it's some in loaded. if they're not in there. What? So maybe you can add some in if they're not in there. Right. Okay, so here we go. These are the Wisconsin ones. So I'll, just, I'll just say a couple of them. One of them is Big Top Chautauqua up in Bayfield. One of them is Blue Ox Music Festival. One of them is the Chippewa Valley Theater Grand Theater Guild. The Chippewa Valley Music Festivals. Country Jam USA, which is in Eau Claire. Uh, let's see here. Eau Claire Children's Theater, Grand Theater in Wausau. Uh, Lineman's River West in Milwaukee. But yeah, just check that out. That list of all these places. Shank Hall in Milwaukee, that can't close down. That's good. That's sure like can. an icon, dude. Yeah, well. The Lakeley in Eau Claire and the Metro in Eau Claire, those just opened. The plus in Eau Claire. Well, it's t it's much tougher for brand new ones than it is wow. for older ones. Oh, yeah. oh my God! I'm like, okay. Anyway, they got the list. I see New Mexico there. There's there like is. eight. There's, there's like eight different places. Which ones? In New Mexico. Okay. And, and I'm not familiar with any of them, but. Uh, okay, well, they're probably like in Albuquerque or Santa Fe. Well, yeah, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, El Prado, whatever that is. Uh, yeah. A, some brewing place in Roswell and Las Cruces. But, uh, wow. Yeah, there's there's not a This million. is not good, guys. I yeah, mean, well, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about the uh, tyranny when we come back. Yeah, we will. <laughs> like it's it, 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 it's always been there, so it's like we always, you know what I mean? It's yeah, there, always been there. My whole life been there. There's a there's an endless uh, batch of tyranny to talk about these days. So, so anyway, you guys, please, if you care about live music at all, if you can at all, even ten bucks, twenty bucks, is is good. Because if we get, you know, if you get five hundred people or a thousand people to donate twenty bucks, there you go, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a huge help. So people are hurting right now. I mean, I know it's fiat dollars and everything, but think about it. If you like live music and like going to shows. You might want to check this out. Right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's play some music okay. here since we're talking okay, about. Okay, sounds good. I got a pee. Perfect time for a break. All right then. I mean, TMI. I'm sorry, Ren. <laughs> That's fine. It happens. You know, it, right, it well, we'll, we'll be back <laughs> after this set here. We will enjoy. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. Oh yeah, little Billy Strings there for ya. All, yeah, that uh, that song is called Cocaine Blues by uh, Billy Strings. It's not the Cocaine Blues song that you're familiar with that George Thorogood and Johnny Cash did, um, but it's a great song still. Uh, so uh, Billy Strings, the Cocaine Blues, uh, and the old Spruce Sessions there. 
Um, I, I when I first saw the the link, I thought, hey, now that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the old uh, Johnny Cash song, Cocaine Blues. But no, 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 a totally different song. Anyway, <laughs> before that we had John Mayall doing Room to Move. Great stuff there, and kicked it off with Joe Bonamassa, Hubert Summon, and uh, Jimmy Vavino at the Guitar Center's King of the Blues Finals. So, uh, good stuff, good music all around. Uh, you know, well, that's what we do here. We play good music. We play, we, we, that's we, what we do here. We do. We do that. Because <laughs> we we're awesome. Well, I don't know. They're awesome. Yeah. The, the musicians are awesome. We just like we we just pick the right ones. Exactly. That's we have good taste. <laughs> and and we taste good. Oh. Yeah, we do. Well, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, uh, Billy Strings is a same. person. He's one person, but Billy Strings is a band. And it's Jared Walker on mandolin. It's Royal Massat. On stand-up bass, it's William Apostle on the guitar, and it's Billy Failing on banjo. Well, that was so Billy. So when you say Billy Strings, we're not just talking about one person. We're talking about his whole band. Well, that, that, was, that was the band set was just Billy himself. Obviously. That was a solo performance, Billy Strings. Yeah, that was a solo William mm. Apostle performance, not really Billy Strings band. It is to me. Say. Right. I mean, so I just want to make sure people know, understand that Billy's Billy Strings is a five-piece fan. Good night, okay. Rob. Oh. Good night, Robert. I hope right. you get that piece that you're looking for. Peace. Peace or P? I don't know what he. I well, he said P I E C. Okay, well, for what? So, I, I don't know. Whatever. A piece can be anything. Well, I hope you get. I hope you get a good piece. Yeah. Whatever piece he's looking for. <laughs> he's whatever he's looking for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's his his part message is peace to all to all a good peace. P I E C E. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um So yeah, uh let's see what else do I got here. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna play you a little clip. Um, all right. This uh Wano Taco, you remember Wano Taco? I do. Okay, well he, he messaged me this this uh thing earlier. And okay. it, and and it's a very interesting little thing. And All right. I'll just I'll just do a bit of it here. Uh, where are we at here? Here we are. Here we are. Normal. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that guy. Ooh, that'll give you the creeps as soon as it gets there. <laughs> there you go. Oh God. Oh yeah. That right. makes your summer turn. I don't right. like that guy. All right, well, you won't like him even more after this. Oh, right. I know. I, well, I, I already don't like I already detest him, so right, I think here. I could hate him more than I do. Here, here you go. We're right. taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms. Genetically modified organisms. And we're injecting them in the little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. We just shoot them right into the vein. We just shoot them right into the vein. What you're about to see is one of the biggest red pill bombs that I've seen detonated on fake stream media in a long, long time. I'm just going to play all 55 seconds of it, and you leave your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Enjoy. Think about that from the president, making it very clear that he wants schools to reopen, and in fact, there could be negative outcomes from, for those that don't. Well, one, we should definitely open up the schools, and we need to stop listening to Dr. Fauci, who is funded by Bill and Melinda Gates. No. And all of your listeners know this, I know this, you know this, we all know this, but Jeffrey Epstein's not a good man, and uh, Bill Gates spent a lot of time with Mr. Jeffrey Epstein. No. So I don't think we should be listening to a pedophile for how to treat our kids, period. And that we shouldn't listening to people who spend time with pedophiles as it relates to our kids. So if Bill Gates wanted to watch my kids as a babysitter, I wouldn't let him do it. I'm certainly not going to use a vaccine he recommends. And Bill Gates has asked Dr. Fauci to serve on his board for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So listening to Bill Gates and Dr. Fauci, they're corrupt individuals, and Bill Gates hangs out with pedophiles consistently. Why would he hang out with Epstein? Why would he do that? It's sick. Okay. All right. Clay Clark, uh, Clark thank you for coming Think about We've seen some crazy crap happen in the past. All right. Well, there you go. Um. <laughs> yeah. 
that that's the size of that. So uh, I'll put I'll put that whole video into the Hello? into the blog. You there? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. What Are happened? You Can you not hear me? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, Moose. I hear you fine. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't hear you. Check your, check your other mute. Hello? Your other mute button. Oh, can you hear me? Check your other mute button. Oh, hang on. <laughs> what the hell? Why All right. That? All right. Okay, All you right. can hear me now. I'm Not, sorry. I, 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 I saw. I was muted on the. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I changed the headset. And yeah. I accidentally hit the speaker button and muted it. I know those those buttons are right next to each other. It's uh, uh, anyway, anyway. Anyway, I'll put that uh, whole video into the post show blog. Thanks, Juan for the uh, for for the yes, thank uh, you for the link there. Um, that, that's a uh, high impact V logs over on the YouTube there, okay. which I'm surprised it's still up there. Uh, right, they haven't pulled that down yet. You know, uh, wow. of course, of course, it was just posted today. Um, <laughs> so yeah, pushing <laughs> buttons. Yeah, you got that Grammy syndrome going on. Pushing, right, I pu do. Pushing those buttons. <laughs> no, I think that's Flash, isn't it? No, no, that's Grammy. Oh, okay, the pushing <laughs> buttons thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, Flash, I got that. Flash, got Flash, that. Flash, yeah. Flash has it too. Um, Flash, Flash has it too, but uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, like I said, uh, I'm surprised that's still up there on the YouTube. It is probably. Well, I, I am too, because YouTube's a bitch, dude. It is. It is probably also on BitChute. I'm sure. For now. For now, but is BitChute sensory now? No, no. But listen to this. Oh, okay. Listen to okay. this. Uh, this is off from a thing from Ofcom, which is a uh, government censorship uh, thing over there in London. Oh, okay. Uh, but of course, if they do it, it'll happen here. Right. And this Probably. came and this came out yesterday. Okay. Uh, call for evidence: video sharing platform regulation. It says we are seeking evidence and information related to new requirements that will apply to video sharing platforms. It doesn't specifically mention BitChute, but you know that's included. Video sharing platforms are a type of online video service where users can upload and share videos, VSPs, allow the uh, users to engage with a wide range of content and social features, and are particularly popular amongst young people. Oh, I'm young. I didn't know that. Huh. All right. Uh, ninety percent of adults, oh, yeah. uh, ninety percent of adults, and ninety-eight percent of children ages eight to fifteen who use the internet have used a VSP in the past year, in the past day. Uh, <laughs> Ofcom will be given new powers. Will be given new powers this autumn to regulate UK established VSPs. This will include the duty to ensure that VSPs have a place in appropriate measures. To protect, quote, not no quotes here, but yeah. mm -hmm. I'm, ad I'm adding, protect young mm -hmm. people from, uh, again, adding quotes, potentially harmful content mm -hmm. and all users from illegal content and mm -hmm. incitement to hatred and violence. Services will also need to ensure standards, oh standards around advertising are met. Uh, so, so basically what this is is, the, somebody is granting them new powers. Uh, oh, great. Uh, what, however they do that, however that's managed, to prevent anything that does not fit the agenda from being seen by anybody. That, that's, what that, that's what that all comes down to. Um, they, they, they do not want anybody out there seeing anything that goes nope. against the official word, the government-approved no, word. And so this is coming, uh, that's in September, this is going to be rolled out, and you can bet if it happens over there, it's coming here. So, okay. uh, right. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, because, it, yeah, for sure. The U.K. and the U.S. are, like, uh, bound together. Right, they're all under the same big umbrella. Yep. Um, yeah. So, so anyway, uh, okay, so I had to laugh because... If this thing, supposed virus, is so deadly as they say, okay, one thing I want to point out for one thing before I go into this article is they say it can be transferred through your eyes. 
And yes, I've had a cold in my eyes. I've gotten a cold that started in my eyes, and I got a full blown cold before in my life, right? Sure. So you can get you can get pink eye. Like the boys had pink eye one time, and I got it in one eye one time. So I had oh, to use okay. the drops too because right. it's very you know. And they they won't send you to daycare for a day if you got pink eye until you, well until you're on a medication for 24 hours. After 24 hours of being on that medication, they will send you back. You can go back to the daycare or whatever, right? Yeah. So anyway, my thing is, if this is so deadly, and they're saying it can be contracted through your eyes, and why aren't they telling everybody to wear fucking goggles? Okay? There you go. Yeah. I mean, come on now. Don't right. lose your common fucking sense. Right, right, right. Right? Don't. Please don't. Well, let me tell anyway, you. Let me, let me just oh, say. Ahead. Let me just say this. Sure, sure. You, you know what cures pink eye and colds? What? Echinacea. Yeah, it does it because it. echinacea is an anti-inflammatory uh, and an antibacterial. It, it cures it. It's, it. It'll knock it right out. Right. And I'm not cold out, too. If you feel the onset of a cold that, yeah, and you start I, taking echinacea, right. it'll knock that cold right out. Yes, it will. I I, I have tested this. I have tested I this. have, too, many times. It'll, it'll, it'll take down pretty much any infection you get. But, but Rome's, you got these people up there, masks are one thing, but they're saying it's go through the, if you can get it through your eyes, you fucking bullshit. If someone coughs in your face, it's going to go in your eyes, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's going to go in your eyes. It's going to go on your whole face. Your eyes are on your face, okay? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the people that are wearing gloves, they're doing it so wrong. If if there's a deadly virus going around and they're wearing these gloves in the grocery store, everything they touch they have to. Ch- they should change their gloves up. Otherwise, you're using gloves ineffectively and supposedly spreading the shit around. Well, let, let, me, let me. People let me, are fucking nuts. They have lost all common fucking sense on this shit. Let, let me sorry, ask. Let me, they let, have. Let, let me ask this. What? If you're wearing a mask, mm-hmm. why do you care if I have a mask on? Right. If you're wearing one, why don't? Why do you? Because you, you care so much about me. Bullshit. I know you don't give a fuck about me, and you don't give a fuck about anybody that you see up there wearing a mask. Yeah. It, 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 do you really give a fuck about them? I don't. If you're wearing one, then why are you worried about non-mask wearing people? That doesn't make any <laughs> fucking sense at all. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's so dumb. I mean, yeah. okay, so the ECASD, the Eau Claire Area School District, proposes an instructional model for 2021 school year. It's ridiculous. Why even have them go to the building at all? Okay, for pre-K, let's go to K, grades 3 through 12. Right. Okay, let's just, they have the pre-K, the kindergarten, the grades 1 through 2. Let's go to the category that's grades 3 through 12. Okay. Students are assigned a cohort to attend in person with teachers two days per week and learn virtually the remaining three days. Students are assigned Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday, Friday for in-person instruction. <laughs> All learning on Wednesday is virtual to allow for cleaning and disinfecting of the building between cohorts. Right. Hang on, hang on a second. Let there me, you go. Let, let, me, let me mention this because Chloe is bringing up something I, I said at the top of the show. And All I right. said, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. And if I'm not wearing a mask, then, then don't, don't say anything to me about it. Because right. I'm not, it's not. But at it's, the same time, she herself told you to wear one because she gives a, she wants you to be around longer. So it's okay for her to do that. No, well, whatever. She's telling I you mean, to wear one because I, she gives a fuck about you so well, fucking no, no, much. No, 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 no. And no, you know what? If, it if, goes both ways. <laughs> it, all right? it does, it does it go does. both ways. It does. I did see but, that but, text in the chat that it goes both fucking ways. Yeah. And so, so, if, so don't be telling people they should be wearing the goddamn things. If that's true. Well, you know, right? if somebody comes up and says, you should have a mask on, and I say, you shouldn't have a mask on. Right. It, it cancels each other out, but I, I, I'm not going to. So shut the fuck up about your mask wearing shit. I'm, no, I'm, it I'm goes not... both ways, right? <laughs> if it goes both ways, then it goes both ways, truly. So I'm, so I'm not going to be out there. I'm not, I'm not going to be out there telling prove anybody it. they need to wear a mask, and, and, and I don't right. want them telling don't me. Don't be telling I... me what I got to do. Yeah, okay? so. Don't be uh, that, me that's what to do. That, that's okay. kind of the yeah. deal. I, I mean, I, I don't want I don't want to force my my beliefs upon you, and I don't want you forcing your beliefs upon me. Exactly, but that happens all the time. 
well, happens yeah, everywhere everybody, in the world. Everybody has not their, just in our chat room, not just here. No, no, everywhere. no. Every, everybody has their vo- views and opinions, and, right. and it's great that they share them. Um, but just don't but get don't mad. But don't be telling people what to do. I fucking don't, don't, hate that don't, so much. Don't, don't get and mad. And don't be saying, oh, because I care about you. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Well, whatever. I mean, maybe, maybe it's yeah, probably. Yeah, whatever the reason is. Like, because you buy into the hype, so he's supposed to too. Okay. No, no, I, 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 you know, it's fine. You want to, you want to voice your, you want to voice your view or opinion. That's fine, but don't get mad at me no, if I don't. No, don't say, I, don't tell, don't type it in chat then. Wear a mask. Well, whatever. I would you say, know, I don't, I don't, come you on. know. You're telling people what to do. Well, you're. Like, you're allowed <laughs> your opinion. That's great. But when you start telling me what to do based on your opinion, that's when I have a problem with it. Okay? Okay. You wouldn't want someone doing that. You don't like it when people do that to you. So don't do it yourself. I am not okay with drunk driving laws, Rome's. Uh, I, I know am not my, either. Uh, but but uh, I think... Should, you shouldn't do it. It's a stupid thing to do. It's it, a dangerous it, thing it to is, do. It is stupid. But not because it's illegal, because it's stupid and dumb. Yeah. And dangerous. So. <laughs> anyway, we're getting we way off. Like, we're getting way. We're getting way. I do not way, like drunk drivers. You know why I don't like drunk drivers? Because that means they're fucking stupid as fuck. Well, I don't like you know, stupid people. Really, it's that, it's, I, it's, hate, I don't like stupid people. It's that they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't, they don't give a shit about anybody else. So, um, yeah, because drunks yeah. are selfish. So, but don't be telling me I'm selfish by inhibit by not inhibiting my breathing. Okay. Yeah. If you're worried about my germs, wear your mask. Okay? Go for it. But it doesn't make me a bad person because I'm not wearing one. It doesn't. See, but you're and wrong, you curse me out. That, that's me that's your view. Store, you're like, you should and, and be wearing a mask. Opposite. Throw your mask or you have to talk to you in louder because you have a mask. All right, all right, all right. Well, I mean, well, come on. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Oh, God. You know, don't be looking. No. In your mind, you're not wrong. Well, you, you got to... In you gotta, your opinion, moose, moose, you're not moose, wrong. Moose, moose, okay? moose, You are moose. not wrong to you. Okay? Moose, to moose, you, moose. you are not wrong. But the rest of us aren't wrong because we don't agree with you. Okay? Moose. What? You have, to, you have to say what you're talking about when you're talking on the radio here. Because people listening to this later... I'm talking about wearing a mask. I, not I, wearing I know, a mask. But, but, but you're commenting on comments in the chat, so... You have okay, to, you have so to say they're what... saying stuff with, in the mat, in the room, like, Rome says he's not wrong. Well, in his opinion, he isn't. But in my opinion, <laughs> it is wrong to wear a mask, but that doesn't make me a bad person, okay? Uh-huh. You go on and you wear your mask if you feel that's what you have to do. But to judge me for not wearing one is bullshit, okay? Right. It's up to individual choice. That's That's how I feel. And for Target and Kohl's and all these people, all these companies to fucking say, oh, yeah, you got to wear a mask. It's bullshit. Okay, well, let me let me share something here that's um, from from one of the heroes of the mask wearers. Okay, um, I mean, all right. Okay. But uh, my uh, point is maybe you think I'm wrong, but that's okay. You can think I'm wrong, but you wear your mask. Why are you in fear? Of, or why do you give a fuck if I'm not wearing one? Well, he you said, got uh, one on. No, he he said earlier. He said earlier that uh, the mask protects you from him, but not him from you. So that that's why he still, thinks the that. mask is ineffective. Then oh, well, your right. mask is ineffective if you're still worried about me not wearing one. Okay. okay. Well, anyway, listen, listen to this. This is from, like I said, that one of the heroes of the mask wearing, the pro mask people, <laughs> Doctor Anthony okay. Fauci. I uh, Fauci. Fauci. Uh, okay. Uh, Fauci opposes controlled study on effectiveness of masks. It says here, uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci on Tuesday uh, said he opposes conducting a controlled study on the effectiveness of masks to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Fauci discussed the idea during a conversation with the students of Georgetown University Institute of Politics and Public Service. One student asked if it is possible to do a study in the midst of a pandemic about the effectiveness of wearing masks. What kind of studies can we do right now in the middle of the pandemic about masks and the transmission of the disease, the student asks. Or are we just relying on anecdotal evidence 
because we're not able to do those kind of studies right now. Fauci said there are enough meta analysis, not actual data, not actual science, meta analysis of existing data showing the efficacy of masks. Right now, I'm convinced uh, enough in the summation and totality of the data that has been analyzed by meta analysis that I'm convinced, not proved, I'm convinced that the benefit of wearing a mask clearly uh, is there, and it's better than not wearing a mask, he said, according to his meta data. Uh, in theory, a randomized controlled study would test the spread of the virus amongst people wearing masks versus people not wearing masks, and possibly scientifically demonstrate the effectiveness of wearing one. But Fauci balked at that idea. He says, I do not want to do a randomized controlled study because that would mean having people not wear masks and see if they do better, he said. What's he afraid of? What's he afraid of? Fauci suggested he would never ask an individual to participate. Nobody's asking them. They're going to do it voluntarily. I would, he would never ask an individual to participate in a study that would involve not wearing a mask. I think to do the study would be kind of difficult to do because you'd have to tell people not to wear masks. I'm not about to tell them that, he said. Okay, he doesn't want the science done. He doesn't want the testing done. And he said, well, some people, well, I'll, you, there's lots of people that are anti-mask, and you could just have them do the, do the study. You don't have to go out there and tell mask wearers not to wear masks. But you would get the actual information. You would get the data. You would see. You'd be able to, to tell if the masks are doing any good or not. And, and if you had that actual data, if you were able to show me the actual data where wearing a mask was effective and that the virus actually exists and is transmitted in such an easy manner, I might consider it. But you're not even willing to bring that to Go and, and get that data. It would be an easy study to do. Very easy. And he is against it. Does not want it to happen. So. Uh, right. <laughs> okay. So me and my mom were up. Hey, now, wait, 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 wait. So, some people are going to point out, well, that's coming off Breitbart. And they're one of them right wing loony bins. They Ooh. are. They are one of them right wing loony bins. But it's him. Yeah, it's, it's Fauci's According own. According to mainstream media, they are. It, it's Fauci's own words right there. So It is. Um, right there. <laughs> yeah. So we were at Boot Barn, my mom and I, because I don't like cowboy boots. I like leather boots. So okay. I don't like vinyl boots. I have, if I'm buying boots, they're going to be leather. Anyway, we go to Boot Barn because they got mostly leather boots there, right? Yeah. And um, they have these face masks for sale. Two bucks a piece, one ninety nine. All right. And they're just—they had the ear loops, but they're just this thin piece of fabric with the ear loops. I mean, we're talking thin, Grim. Okay. My mom and I—I I felt the fabric. I picked this up. I'm like, this is nothing. This is like wearing nothing on your face. And she's like, yeah, that's not effective. I'm like, no. <laughs> and they're a dollar ninety nine a piece. I'm like, if people buy these, they're fucking dumb. Okay. I mean, if you're going to wear a proper face mask, you need the one that the painters wear uh, when they're painting homes and shit. You, even the N95 isn't as good as this one, dude. Right. You gotta, if you're going to do face masks, you're going to do the all-out, like, chemical fucking face mask, dude. Otherwise, it, it, it cracks me up because you see these people out there doing the mask thing, but it's below their nose. Okay, last time I checked, a sneeze comes out of your nose. And snot comes out of your nose. Yeah, well, I don't know if you remember. If it's below your nose, it's ineffective. If it's below your mouth and your nose, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't trip, then you're not wearing a mask, buddy. <laughs> you know? I mean, people are so... It, 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 it's okay to be in a restaurant, but you got to enter the restaurant. You have to wear a mask. Once you sit down at your table, you can take the mask off. Yeah. Well. So, right. And if you're in a small restaurant, even if you're six feet apart from people, 
you still are, that, that whole air is going to be mixing. If they get an air conditioning system, oh, yeah, those are bad now, too, Grim, air conditioning systems. Oh, right, right. Those help spread the coronavirus. Yeah. So the, how the hell are they? You're not supposed to have your air conditioner on because you can get coronavirus. <laughs> you better wear a mask in your house and wear a got using a goddamn air conditioner. Yeah, That's you betcha. That's what they'll tell you. You can run your air conditioner, but you got to wear a mask. It, it, it's so dumb, you guys. You guys, a lot of people have lost their whole common sense on this shit. And I can tell the people that I know that trust government. I'm not talking just front. I'm talking everybody in the world that I fucking know. It's pretty sad, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Eighty of eighty percent of them are buying into this shit. Right. So there is like, and that's that's being optimistic, okay? But it's so surreal in some ways because you thought you knew a person, right? Uh huh. And then now it's like a big test for everybody, basically, for lack of a better word. How are we all responding to this, right? Well. And how do we all, re- everyone responded so, certain ways to 911. How is everyone responding certain ways to this thing? You know, they know that it's going to create division. That's part of the reason they do this shit. You know, and I really do feel right now, like right this second, that I'm like a Jew back in 1941 or 39 living in goddamn Germany right now. Well, here, here's, here's what With all this shit they're putting on us. You gotta wear a mask. I mean, it's so similar. Okay. Well, let's, and people can't put uh, these things together. They can't see the parallels. Well, let's, let's see this little, let's see this, let, let's see this little clip here and it'll, it'll show you, uh, what, what's happening because, uh, okay. the, the, the wear a mask crowd is so adamant about people wearing a mask and the, no wear a mask crowd is also adamant about their point of view. So uh, here, here you go. It's not just 15 minutes. It's longer than that. It's going to, I, I take longer than 15 <laughs> minutes to shop at a goddamn grocery store sometimes. See, well, right? well, 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 Why well, should I have to inhibit my breathing and breathe in the shit that I've expelled? Rebreathe in the shit that I expelled. It's stupid. Okay. It's well, dumb. Let's watch this. And, and <laughs> most of these masks that people got are ineffective anyway. Yeah. And they don't use them correctly, so it's bullshit. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead, girl. That's all right. That's all right. I, I know. Go I know ahead. you're passionate about it, so. Oh, it's it's, uh, it's so obvious. Okay. Well, me. here, watch this little clip. All right. Okay. Ask. No, we don't. Why? You don't? Because there's this thing called coronavirus. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, it's a bullshit lie. Really? Yeah, I know. Who made up the lie? Hey, go fuck yourself. What? He did. I love passion. Yeah, me too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you need masks? No. Alright, see you later. Do you guys have masks? No. You guys are just going around willy nilly with no masks? Yeah. yeah. If I give you these masks, are you guys going to wear them? Sure. sure. You swear on it? Yes. On Tyler the Creator? Yes, sir. All right, dude. Oh, wow. All right, see you guys. Dude, everyone here is so cool. You're hanging out masks if you want. Oh, I have masks. I have have masks. Thank you. Why aren't you guys wearing them? Because we left them in our car. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So. No, I'm good, thanks. Damn it. Are you pro mask, bro? You want a mask? It's all fake, dude. Come on. I'm good, man. No, nah, man, that's just nah. that's a fraud, I like bro. I like freedom, dog. I like I like fresh air. To shut down the fucking country, that's bullshit, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm good. But does wearing a mask shut down the country? When you close down half the economy, yeah. Yeah, I much. think so. But can't we open it up quicker if we all wear masks? Nah, no, no, dude, that's, that's a talking good. point on the TV, bro. This is not a mask, it's a bubble. What? What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What? 
Do you know what a muzzle is? No. Who's God to you guys? Oh, good question. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. Just a benevolent, superseding intelligence. Hey, what's up, Rick? So fucking cool. Dude, Rick is the coolest dude. What up, dude? Do you, you wear, wear a mask? God does love me. Do you wear a mask? What? I think he's oh, coming he's coming back. back. Come here. Do you need a mask? Come here. Get ready to run. What else do you want? Just to give math. No, look, if you're not making my fucking rights, it's not my right. <laughs> Do you wear a mask? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you. Yes, I know it was sarcasm, you guys. I I get that. They, they, no, they, they, they can't figure it out. They, they, they're out there hand, handing out masks, holding up a sign, God loves masks, uh, loves masks. <laughs> well, if he loves masks, then... then then why did he create the virus? Oh, right, it was done in yeah, a lab. Yeah, a pretty good parody there. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it was it. done in a lab. It's a skit. It's a skit, basically. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, still, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it comes down to a matter of trust, you know. I, I like, know. It's, it's a just bunch insane. of people didn't trust him after nine one one, but now they they did a spin on it and they made it like a health issue. And all these people that weren't conv- that you know didn't trust them before, and all of a sudden they do. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why would you all of a sudden? Because they twi- they made it not a terrorist issue; they made it a health scare, right? Right, right. Well, they didn't buy. Not too many people bought the nine one one shit. They got us on that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we I- did go to war in Iran because of it, but you know. In Iraq and shit. We went there, Iraq. You know what I mean? Right, because of, of, of the WMDs. Right, the, the weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> that, that, did, that did not exist. It did not exist, <laughs> correct. And so now they're like, then 20 years later, 21 years later, we got to do something better. It's got to be more convincing, you guys. It's got to be something about their health. Mm-hmm. We gotta put the fear of God in them. They're gonna fucking die. Yeah. All right, we're no. gonna we're gonna do another set here, and no, um, let's do that. And I gotta say, uh, I I really like this uh, uh, the, the the guy in this this first video. I really like his breathing apparatus, and okay. uh, and I, I I'd share one of these breathing apparatus with him. So, okay, and uh, I'm just saying, if you guys really want a true face mask that really works. You need to get one of them painter's ones. Them, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you're fucking wasting your time wearing these stupid cloths. Okay. Stupid anyway, so uh, so check out this dude's breathing apparatus and see if you like I it. I will. Okay. okay. It's his, a bong. I, I see that. His, 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 his name is Ronald Reggae. <laughs> nice name. Uh, okay. Well, I ran a little. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was distracted doing some stuff there. So I didn't catch the end of that. <laughs> Oh shit! Am I offline? Oh man, looks like the video dropped. Video, video, video stream drops offline. All right, what's going on here? It's trying to do. It's trying to reconnect here, and we are reconnected on the video. All right, sorry folks, the video stream dropped there for a minute, but uh, the audio stream stayed connected. So, hooray for that! But uh, for whatever reason, the video streams dropped. So, and. Uh, it's it's coming back. It'll be there in a second. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Stuff happens, you know. All right. Anyway, that was uh, Samantha Fish, Suckerborn, uh, from back in 2014 at Don O'Dell's. Before that was a band called Brave doing a song called Valhalla. It was not Tenacious D, as people were uh, guessing there in the chat. And uh, the, the the band is called Brave. Not the greatest band in the world, but I like the song. Like I said, called Valhalla. And we kicked it off with Ronald Reggae's newest one. It's called Hello, uh, which I think is a... a, Who's that guy? Lionel Richie uh, uh, song? Are you there, Moose? All right. (laughs) Okay. Hello. Hello. Moose girl. 
<laughs> Yo, dude. There you are. I had to change the spe- to headset, and I had to unmute. All right, all right. Sorry. That's sorry. all right. That's all right. So. All uh, right. No. Okay. I don't want to talk about the mask thing anymore. Me I, either. It, we're we're, we're good. We're good on we're good on masks. We don't need. Yeah, anymore. we don't need to discuss that further. People get on people the show. get too upset. People are so upset over the whole thing. I know, and it's just. We can't talk about it any further tonight on the show. It just won't be a good thing. Yeah, you know, I, I wish Is the video... Oh, i got to refresh here because you yeah. said the video went... Yeah, it dropped for a, a few seconds there. Okay. And uh, so, I just don't want... You know... I, I wish people didn't get so upset over the whole mask it thing. It comes down to individual choice to me, okay? Yeah. And, and I don't like being... I, I don't know. I, let's just drop. I don't want to talk about it more. I, all right, all right, all right. Well, this, it, could, it could consume the whole show. <laughs> oh, uh, easily. Because, like I said, you know, people are... We people, can, we can. I mean, Rome seems like he wants to keep talking about it. I well, mean, that, that's all right. The mask, people, I, I, I understand. I, like I, it, 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 I understand it's a very big issue for the mask, for the mask it wearing it, crowd. It um, and the, and the, the, the mask supporters and... And and neither and you it's nor I. creating a vision, which is what they wanted. I yeah. believe it's creating a vision. And neither you or neither neither you nor I are are part of the whole. Uh, See, I'm not keeping score, dude. You can if you want to, but to me, I I'm not keeping score. Yeah. You can yeah. if you want to, you know. Yeah. And in your opinion, you have one point. Okay. Well, yay, raw. Woohoo. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. I. Okay, so I think. Okay. All right, go ahead. We have to talk about goddamn masks. No. Nope. Goddamn, talk about them. No, 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 no. The stop. Fucking stop. Painter's stop. Mask, the stop. The fuel mask. Stop. That's what you need. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. <laughs> okay, here. I'm sorry. Okay. I will we, stop. We've, we've had stop. enough. We've had enough on the mask. Okay, I'll stop. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's too. It's too volatile. It's too volatile. It is just way too. Yeah. It's 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 like the biggest division thing it's going on. It's divisive. It's divisive. It, 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 it's 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 the thing, man. I I. I it's too divisive. The, the next the next civil war in America is going to be the mask wearers versus the non mask wearers. That's going to be over mask or not mask, like that. Oh uh, no, no. All right, I came across this article today. Okay. Maybe you okay. can uh, tell me what you think about it. Far right, right. E- far right extremist suggests treating people of all races equally. <laughs> okay, what? A danger. A dangerous far right extremist has suggested that we treat people of all races equally. Shocked and horrified, uh, sources confirmed Friday. The hateful bigot has been canceled by the cancel culture, for his controversial comments that people should be treated with respect no matter what their skin color. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character, said the dangerous alt-right extremist, according to sources. I have a dream that one day little black boys and girls will be holding hands with little white boys and girls. The offensive comments were platformed at large protests and marches, and everyone associated with the problematic racist has also been canceled. I mean, this is literally Nazism, said one progressive Twitter user. He might as well have grown out a little mustache and invaded Russia. We are scouring his old Facebook photos for swastikas and racial slurs as we speak. I'm sure there's a ton of hateful stuff there. Do you, do, you, do you know who this this far right extremist is? No. Who this? Who this? Devil on B or something? Well, it is, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's, it's, I have no idea. It's Mar- it's Martin Luther King Jr. Oh yeah, well I knew when you said the four the I I, yeah. I could run a, pick up parts of the speech and that were in the article. Yes. Yeah. That was so Martin Luther King. so right. I, I tweeted out the other day over there on the Twitter. <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. That uh, the most accurate news on Twitter comes from the Babylon Bee. 
<laughs> right. I because mean, and it's a I, 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 I mean, it, it, if somebody was out there today and saying that everybody right. of all races should be treated equally, people would <laughs> slam their ass. They would. They, if they, CNN uh, said that or Fox, oh, uh, any anybody it would be like what? Yeah, yeah. Satire. Isn't that sad? That's fucked up, dude. The, the, the most accurate. Think about that. That's the most that. accurate news comes comes right off the Babylon Bee. Right, uh, and uh, they're uh, it's supposed to be a satire site. They, and they are, and they are, but. And that's why, like, I've gotten tricked. But when you start doing a, an article, and I'm not, I don't realize right away or soon that it's a satire. That's a Babylon Bee because you don't say that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. And you're like, at the end, you're like, that was Babylon Bee. I'm yeah. like, oh, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, the truth is, what is that quote, Grandma? Of truth being stranger than fiction, or whatever. That's close enough. Truth is stranger than fiction. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is too. The truth is stranger than fiction, people. Right, right. You know, get your head out of your ass and start seeing things for what they are instead of what you think they should be like. Right. Open your eyes. And see the way shit is. I dare you to get out of your goddamn bubble, you know, and uh -huh. venture out of your comfort zone for once. Right. I mean, come on now. You can <laughs> sit there and judge somebody because, you know, you're this and that, but you've never, until you walk the day in someone else's shoes, you don't got no right to judge that person. When it comes down to it, you know, right? We're all individuals. We all have our own life shit that we go through, you know. Sure. So to sit there and be like judgmental on someone else, you must be pretty fucking goddamn pristine, motherfucker. <laughs> you did no wrong. You had no trauma in your life that gives you the right to judge somebody else. Fuck off. Fuck, fuck <laughs> off. All right, all right. Now this is is not a mask story. However, it is a COVID corona nonsense story. Um, for the for the Fauci lovers, okay. Okay, that's not me. All right. That's all right though. Fauci is a front man for big pharma. He controls academic lies and has an incentive to support the fear mongering. He did it before with HIV and AIDS. He's a master at it. He's been there during the Reagan and Bushes, the Obamas. Uh, he's he's close to the to Gates and all of the other foundations. This guy's a lifer. He is deep state, deep state pharma. That's according to Dr. Shiva Ayurati, however you say that name. Uh, the vast majority of confirmed cases are people who have no symptoms and have no idea they even have antibodies for the virus. The CDC will downgrade COVID from an epidemic uh, in this month uh, due to the remarkably low death rate. The vast majority of confirmed cases are people who have no symptoms and have no idea, uh, not to mention the likely inaccuracy of COVID testing. Media and government continue to report on new cases every single day as testing continues. The challenging part is they are not sharing how many of these cases are symptomatic or result in any form of hospitalization. They are simply reporting on how many new confirmed cases there are uh, is doing nothing but to rile the public up for no reason. The vast majority of confirmed cases, uh, yeah, you've already said that. So uh, why it matters, as many outside mainstream consensus spoke about since late February, testing results show, show that more people have likely contracted co corona than testing data reflects. This means even way back then, the mortality rate for corona was far lower than any of the extreme estimates that came out of government and health agencies, all of which has been proven wrong along the way. So yeah, there's your hero. There's your hero. He's a he's a big pharma dude. He's a he's a Gates dude. Uh, he's not my hero. Well, not not yours, but not yours, but you know you, you know okay. him. 
you know who I'm talking to or about. I don't know who you're talking to. You're not talking to me. Well, no, but, <laughs> but, we, but we have. I'll give you a stick room. Just, just ignore me. I'm trying to be like Jennifer Aniston or something. You know, I'm trying to be funny. Is sometimes she, I try to be funny. Sometimes I'm successful. Sometimes I am not. Is, is Jennifer you know? Aniston? Is Jennifer Aniston funny? I think she, in certain roles she is. She plays a good funny lady. You know, I think one of her idols was Lucille Ball, as was one of mine. You know, I mean, some of these these comedic women were really good at the, what they did back in the day. Okay, Lucille well, Ball she, was like my idol, dude. Okay, well, a- Aniston, she was kind of funny in Office Space. She was kind of, but she. But she has played, done other roles that you probably have not seen her do. Where I'm sure she, she has. Where she's a total goofball, and she's really funny. All right. Well, they're probably I mean, like they probably like those uh, romantic comedies. And she's really and I, well, and some of them maybe, but and, there's and I, been a couple like Check Out Girl or whatever. Is that called? Never, I gotta look it up. Not Check I, Out I Girl. Never heard of it. That's called Check Out. All right. But it's a drama. She's good at drama too, not just a comedy. But she can play really good. She can do really good comedy. And I appreciate anybody that can do good, good comedy and make me laugh. That means you're doing your job. You can make me laugh, then you're good at what you're doing. Okay. Well, here, see if this makes you laugh. Right. <laughs> it probably will. But, yeah. <laughs> this is posted on Reuters. Uh, uh, Reuters, Reuters, Reuters. Whatever. Reuters. It's supposed to be called Reuters, but it's, we, we all we call it Reuters, like hemorrhoiders. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. So here it is. <laughs> Boliv- Bolivian sex workers bet on see-through biosecurity raincoats to reduce contagion risk. <laughs> So, is it a full moon? You know what? It isn't even a full moon. It's like a half moon. Half moon can be weirder than full moon. Half moon is Seriously. one key. Half moon is half one. Half moon is weirder than full moon. Full moon's really weird, but half moon can be just as weird, dude. Half moon like, is half moon is one cheek. Right, and people kind of go weird in that one too. And then when it's full <laughs> cheeks, they really freak out. Yeah. So there it is. There it is. (laughs) Bolivian sex workers in the capital La Paz are preparing for life in the age of coronavirus with new equipment, including bottles of bleach, gloves, and see-through raincoats. All of which, (laughs) all, all, all of which they will, they say, will help them resume work safely. The the size-skimming biosecurity suits are among a number of recommendations in the 30-page coronavirus security manual drawn up by the Organization of Night Workers of Bolivia. That's the OTN. <laughs> the group is pushing <laughs> pushing authorities to lift the daytime business restrictions put in place during the lockdowns. Even if a strict nighttime curfew still impedes their more habitual evening work. Lily Cortez, a representative of Bolivia's Sex Workers Union, told Reuters in March that some women may have no option but to work on the streets if they could not get work in cooperative-run brothels. Prostitution is legal in Bolivia, but procuring it is not, which is weird. Anyway, one sex worker, Antoinetta, showed Reuters last week uh, how, in addition to donning a thong, a sequined eye mask, and a sheer crotch height <laughs> dress for work, she could layer <laughs> layer on top of a paper face mask, plastic visor, gloves, and a raincoat. That sounds so sexy. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> she gave a demonstration of how she sprays a bleach a bleach solution on the pole she uses to dance for clients at the brothel she operates with several oh other God. women. Uh, the, the biosecurity suit will allow us to work and protect ourselves. Uh, uh, Bolivia. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you that that's that. Hey. That's some sexy awesome. stuff. That's some sexy stuff right there. Woo, yeah. baby. Um, I, I can't think of the Anderson movie. I'll, I'll look it up. I'll <laughs> put it in the chat. I'll talk about it next week. I can't look it up right now while I'm doing the show. So. <laughs> All, right. All right. Checkout Girl is not the name of it. She plays the Checkout Girl in it. She knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play another right. set here. 
Okay, uh, let's do that. We need to do that. Um, uh, uh, it's uh, been a, it, you know, it's a half moon night. I, yeah. So, I so, think half moon can be as weird, if not weirder, than a full moon night. So, I'm so, just saying. So uh, just show, know. just show one cheek, and and you'll be good. Yeah, one cheek night. Okay. Yeah. Uh, enjoy, people. We'll enjoy. And this is something you'll be surprised to hear. All right, Neil Young and Crazy Horse there, uh, rocking in the free world back from 1991. Uh, before that, we heard, well, a little bit of Steely Dan doing Deacon Blues Live. Uh, people uh, people don't like that song for whatever reason. I don't know. I like Steely Dan, but um, it's not their best song, that's for sure. Anyway, we kicked it off there with Elvis Presley doing Suspicious Minds live in Las Vegas. Boy, I tell you, he was he was flying. He was flying in that video. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, Moose, you with us? All right. <laughs> She'll be here in a second, I guess. Oh, it's funny, though. <laughs> gong, gong! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here now. All right, all right. Anyway, um, yeah, sorry, Hanzo. You know, I I get it when people, like, take recordings with their phone when they're watching something on their TV. But generally, when you do that, the audio just sucks. Well, that that, uh, that, Neil, Young, you know, that, that Neil Young video, the audio was pretty bad. but Yeah, that was pretty bad, too, but, uh, but, 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 uh, but it was Neil Young, so, you know. <laughs> it was yeah, you know, and so you have to kind of weigh your options here. But seriously, <laughs> people were complaining about that song, so it had to be. It had to happen. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, no, I get it. I, I get, get it. it. I get it. it had to I get it. Anyway, what time we got? Oh, okay. Yeah, we. we what you got, Graham? Well, hang on. I'm, I'm hang on. I'm, okay, I'm, let me see. Yeah, let me see what I got to. See, see, see if you got anything else. There. Anyway, what I was going to say is that. The Billy, I'm going to try to broadcast, I'm going to try to figure out how to broadcast again from this machine. I'm not sure if I did from this. I thought I did, but I was, might have been mistaken. Anyway, if I do purchase another Billy stream speed and I can get it to broadcast, I will do that for you people. And I will only ask like for, a, you can watch, you can view it free or I would ask for like a dollar donation or something, you know, but, or view it free. But it would be kind of like a mixture between giving you this awesome content that I had to pay $10 for. Uh -huh. oh, at the same time, you can donate to our, well, you can donate to our LM at any time. But I just want to, uh, don't even worry about the nation part of it. It's If, if I can make it happen, I'm just going to stream it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to even do the money part. It, it doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? Okay. But I like to support musicians, and to me, being able to see Billy Strings Band all together tonight live, even though there was no fans, it was really weird because usually when they play shows, there's, it's a packed house, right? Right. And it's so weird when they end the song, you don't hear any clapping or anything. Yeah. It's just really bizarre. It's so different, you know, but it's what we got to do right now. Sure. The way shit is, but um, it, yeah, it, it's just weird. It's just different. This has just been such a weird year. I mean, just bizarro. Okay, what do you got, Grim? All right, first, and since you were actually talking about this there in the chat, kind of okay. in a way, right. Uh, right. May, maybe you should know. Maybe you should know about this. Okay. This is on uh, internationalhighlife dot com. All right, and it's. Weed 101. Weed 101. What okay. What is Reggie weed and why you should not smoke it? Reggie weed. Reggie mm. weed. Okay. <laughs> now, we've all smoked plenty of Reggie weed through our lives. Oh, whether, yeah. Whether we realize it or not. So, depending on where you live, you might be smoking Reggie weed on an, every, <laughs> on an everyday basis and not even know it. In the... <laughs> In the black market, Reggie weed is everywhere. It's so predominant in some places that you might have smoked, 
that you might have smoked anything else in your professional weed smoking career. Your professional weed smoking career. All right. <laughs> if you've got a baggie in front of you and you suspect foul play in uh, in your business transaction, here's the lowdown on Reggie Weed. Reggie okay. Weed. Re Reggie Weed definition. Essentially, Reggie Weed means regular weed. It's low. Okay, you're right. I it, get that. I get it, this now. It's okay. low, low quality, low potency, and is nothing yes. to write oh home about. Oh my god, I wasted so much money on Reggie Weed. It's nothing like, to write. Like, really, you guys it, suck for selling me this bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You guys suck for selling so, me this bunk weed. So That's what I call it. Bunk swa weed. Swag weed. Swag weed. Swag right. bunk ditch weed. It's nothing to write home about. Ditch. No, if, it is not. It if, sucks. It doesn't even get you high. It's, yeah. Uh. But if if you're lucky if you're lucky enough to live in Canada or a legal state, <laughs> lucky right? Like or, we don't all live in fucking Canada. Or a legal or a legal state like Oregon or or, or Alaska. They or, got some Alaska fucking thunder. Fuck. You think what do you think that other fucking people do up there? Or or, or Oregon or you know, Colorado? They grow fucking weed. Then then Reggie weed <laughs> Reggie weed is not a problem. But if you live no, in a Reggie, weed, Reggie weed is a problem for me because I wasted so much money on it. Well, like, here you go. Like, that, if you leave it, live in a regional backwater like Wisconsin, <laughs> which no, I don't know, this is a okay maybe with, some people might be. With, I don't, with no with, I, with no access to a dispensary or high quality exactly. product. Exactly right. This uh, is me. Okay, it, you are it, talking about me, Grim. It might be all you can get. Right? It's, yeah, you know, well, well, it sucks, dude. Worried about the uh, about accidentally getting low quality weed when you paid for yeah, something don't better? Worry. What do you mean accidentally? No, on purpose getting low because that's all they can get. You when know when, I mean? when you've paid for something better? Exactly. Uh, so, I hate. That. Oh my god, it's so terrible. So look it's out funny. for the look out for the following discrepancies. Okay. Uh, unappealing color, yellow, brown, murky. Well, yeah, you can if it looks brown and not like bright green. Yeah. You make sure, do the smell test. Even if the smell test well, that, doesn't that, always that, work, that, That's the next thing. Unappetizing it doesn't aroma. doesn't always work, right. Unappetizing you, aroma. Stale, you must, stale, you stale, 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 musty. You can smell the too. Stale, musty, or no smell at all. Exactly. Low potency. Right. Loose nugs. Yeah. Extremely dry and brittle. Yes. Terrible okay. signs. <laughs> what does what does Reggie weed taste like? If you've never tasted, it tastes like shit and doesn't get you high. If, if you've never tasted anything else, you probably think Reggie <laughs> weed tastes well, just like weed. However, <laughs> however, if you were more accustomed to a higher grade product, the taste exactly. is one of the easiest ways to tell if you've got a handful of bad product. Exactly. Reggie weed tastes off. It tastes like... It does. It's nasty. It doesn't it, taste good and it doesn't get you high. It tastes like a nug you've dug out from under the couch. Yes. <laughs> like it's yes. been sitting been around... for like six years or something. Sitting around for weeks, months even. Or years. <laughs> it, it, it's likely it will have a it's mild... Lots of potency. It's lots of potency. It's, it likely will have a mild, musty flavor profile. Okay, so do you know why the reason... The main reason I think this happens... It's because these growers out there don't know what the fuck they're doing, and they fuck it up somehow. They yeah. fuck up the process. You know what I mean? They don't. They don't know what they're doing, so they're growing this shit, and they're like, "Well, I gotta get rid of this shit." I'm okay. Like, you know, well, listen, listen to this here, or whatever. Listen you know? to this here. This is the why should you not smoke smoke Reggie weed? Okay, let's hear this now. Not only can you enjoy the experience better. But Reggie weed may also expose you to some pretty nasty substances. Yeah. Con consider the Reggie weed usually appears only in the black market. The black market is filled with untested or worse yet failed products. You heard that right. Some experts believe that the products which fail the mandated lab testing gets merely sold off on the black market. There are no stats to back this up, but clearly people growing and selling Reggie strains don't care mm -hmm. about quality uh the, the crop Which, was in, because they're young and dumb and they they're not like seasoned pot smokers Graham. yeah the, the more you smoke the more you realize the difference between shitty weed and good weed you know what i'm saying and yeah. it's a sort of experience and and i'm sorry to say what that's like 
uh, a rite of passage or whatever. It, if if the you know crop if, if the crop was infested by mildew or if it was sprayed with harsh right. pes- harsh pesticides, they right. don't care. The, the growers don't care. No, they if you, don't. If you they'll smoke, they'll sell it. Yep. If, if you smoke these toxins, they travel to sensitive tissues in right. your lungs, and you could get sick, from and these can toxins. cause right. severe health issues in the future. Just, the biggest thing is is to know who you're buying from, and you got to have trust. Anyway, if you don't trust a person, then you better off. You better be wary. You know and, what I'm saying? Anyway, there, yep. there's there's plenty more to that article. So if you're not familiar with Reggie Weed, if you've always had high quality stuff. Um, uh, then just right, look, then you're look, lucky, motherfucker. Well, no, and look out, look out for those signs, those warning <laughs> signs, because, because you know, it it could happen at any time. Right, it could, you know, and and most people will, like you said, if they're used, to their season grim or whatever, oh, hell. they can spot it right away. All right, um, we're we're at, I, I got to do the last set about the time. I didn't even realize it. Oh my god, it's fucking forty nine. Okay. Yeah. All right, I was going to do uh, one, uh, saying Trinity test was 75 years ago yesterday. And the, All right. Uh, so I'll, I'll just put these back in the, in the reading the list. Put the link in the vlog. No, I'll, I'll just put these back in the reading list for next week or whatever. Okay, yeah, there so, you go. Um, <laughs> that happens, you know, we don't really can, we don't have much Yeah, yeah, format, lost, lost, lost you know. track of time there. Lost right. track of time. It happens. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. okay, enjoy it, people. Yeah. This is uh, R.E.M. for Miss Chloe. I can't find nothing on the radio. Uh, you'll turn to that station. Bambolam! <laughs> well, let's see if it says here. Um, let's see. Uh, da 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 da. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't see it. it says anything. Uh, post the video, not the video spliced. Uh, what film is this? Nobody replied. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what, well, I don't know what movie that was. Uh, but, uh, something. Anyway, uh, Black Betty spider bait there. Uh, <laughs> before that, we had Led Zeppelin rock and roll back in 1973 and kicked it off with R.E.M. radio song. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll sign off for you, Moose, if you got to go. Uh, okay. Uh, so, thanks, everybody, for tuning in uh, tonight. Uh, I've had a good time. I had a great time here. Uh, playing the music, talking to all the stuff, even with the uh, you know the the uh, adversity over over the stupid masks, uh, you know whatever. It's still a good time. I, I enjoyed it. So uh, thank you all, and uh, we'll be back next Friday with another edition of the Freakers Ball. But tomorrow, Dork Table at 2 p.m. Eastern with Flash with Grammy, having a good old time there, and I'll be on Sunday morning with the Blues, hopefully with a solid. <laughs> Solid stream this time. Uh, and Hal Anthony uh, follows me on Sunday. So uh, y'all have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Peace.